Haleluya, aleluya. Praise the Lord. Yes. Uh, we have about 10 minutes just to conclude this program. I will not use PowerPoint, so don't expect PowerPoint. This is just a summary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just look at your neighbor and say, are we together? <laughs> Pastor Mark Finley said, uh, I have borrowed that from you. <laughs> yes. Um, yesterday when I was talking to my children back home and they are watching me right now, they reminded me something. They said, Daddy, you said that uh, today you will introduce again our mother. And we never saw that. Then I told them, I will do on Saturday because that's when we have a lot of people. <laughs> so that is the sign that our two boys knows how to cherish women. I would like to invite my wife just to say hi to people. <laughs> that is the one. Njo tumpaka hapa, kuna kesi. <laughs> I want, when I go back home, I don't have any case to respond because they said, you promised. And you know, when you have two boys in African culture, they are soldiers. Hallelujah. She's the one from Kisumu. <laughs> Hallelujah, that's enough. <laughs> yes. Um, seven minutes. When you read the book of Genesis, especially chapter three, if you want to know how men and female brain works differently, the story is just there. The Bible is the book which it will never be outdated. Hallelujah. If you talk about science, it's there. If you talk about learning agriculture, it's in the Bible. Hallelujah. If you talk about geography, it's in the Bible. Everything is there. Let's just read chapter 3 and we'll see some things there before we conclude. Now, uh, verse 1. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did, did God actually say, you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? Just be careful in this question. The Bible says, did actually God say, you shall not eat of the tree in the garden. If you want to break up this one, you will find only two statements. Are we together? Now, watch carefully the response of a woman. Now, you will know they talk more than us. Listen to this. And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. If it was a man, he should have stopped there. But because he's a woman, that is not enough. But God said, you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden. Neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat when you eat of it, uh, yours, your eyes will be opened and will be like God, knowing good and evil. 
So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, not only that, and that it was delight to the eyes. Always women are after beautiful things. When it comes to buy clothes, for us men, we prefer dark colors. But when it comes to women, they want things which are decorated already. Even those who are selling uh, back home, we, we, we have those who are calling matching guys in Swahili. We call them matching. Huh? People who are selling things while they are holding them. They, they say that most of their customers are women. Because those guys, always when you meet them, they are in promotion. They will tell you this is under promotion. And so they are playing with women's emotions. And then you will find that you left something at home for your family. And then when you come back home, the woman has bought something else. And when you ask her, what's wrong with it? They say, they were here and they were in promotion. So I thought I will buy just this one. That's how they are. But in short, I just want to remind my sisters, when it comes to discussion with anybody, don't talk beyond necessary. Hallelujah. 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 Don't talk beyond necessary. Let's go and read uh, the book of Ephesians chapter 5. Chapter 5, the book of Ephesians. Chapter 5. Verse 25. By the way, I I'm not sure whether Pastor, Pastor Kefa is around, the one who is dealing with HHES. I'm not sure whether I mentioned it right. Pastor Kefa, uh, that one. Anything which I'm not said in this program, we will pl publish it in a book and Pastor Kefa knows how you will get it. Thank you. Now, listen to this. Husband, love your wives. Oh, who does it mean? Seek the highest good for her. Hallelujah. What is loving a woman is to seek the highest good for her and surround her with a caring and selfish love. Hallelujah. That's how you can love a woman. That's how you can love your wife. You, you have to seek anything good for her and caring for her. So that, and, and then uh, verse 25, uh, let me repeat again. Husband, love your wife, seek the highest good for her, and surround her with caring and self and selfish love, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, so that he might sanctify the church, having cleansed her by the wishing, washing of water with the word. Let me stop there. The kind of woman you want is in your head. God will never give you a finished good. You have to wash her as a head of the family. You have to train her. You have to, to, to produce something which God intended it to be. That's why when you read these uh, verses like uh, 26 onward, Paul is always repeating that the one who will teach us how to make a woman the one you want is Christ himself. So a man must learn from Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, and ye women respect your husband. Hallelujah. What does it mean? If you want to know how to respect, go and see our children. When we say they don't respect us, the same way respect your husband. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Does it mean that men don't need love? No. We need love. We need love. But our brain interpret respect as love. So you have to be very careful. If you don't respect a man, that means you don't love a man. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. If you love 
a man you will respect. We both need respect and love. But when God says, husband, love your wives, it's because all his men must learn how to love. Hallelujah. And all his women must learn how to respect. We have to learn every day. Under Jesus Christ, every family, will be like paradise. Let's stand for the word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for the materials you have given us. Lord, we thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for knowledge. We know that whatever you have written in the Bible is for both of us. Men needs love. Women needs love. Men needs respect, and women needs respect. If we give each other these two ingredients from you, every family will be a paradise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.